So this is a picture of me um, in the street of Douala. And this was one year after my bachelor's degree. I studied in Cameroon at the University of Boya. So this is a medical laboratory science program, a four-year program. My initial plan was to be a biochemist. But when I got admission into the university, my parents and family members advised that I do medical laboratory science. And I followed their advice and I took the, the entrance exam and I made it. As a kid, I had no idea what I wanted to do. <laughs> but I realized at some point that I effortlessly did well in science subjects, so meaning biology. So I decided to take it seriously. And I decided to pursue further studies, a master's degree. And my master's was here at the Catholic University of Leuven, where I studied biophysics, biotechnology, and molecular biology, in a sense. At some point, I wanted to be um, a doctor, a PhD doctor. At first, it was just for the title. You know, I want to be called Dr. Coombe. It's like a fulfillment. Like, okay, I, you are a doctor, and yeah. But along the way, I realized being a doctor is more of a philosophy than just a name. And it comes with a lot of responsibility as well. Before I graduated, I told them that I would like to do a PhD. This is something I really want to do. Late 2015, I started my PhD. Yeah. And by then, um, Kai Dalmeyer, who, uh, who was my mentor then, uh, he had just created his vaccine group. I was interested in, in what he shared as his vision, and I decided to join his team. So I was working on the vaccine design and development team. Uh, staying in academia was not an option for me because I thought if you really want to be business minded, you should be in company, right? I love research. Again, in, in pharmaceutical industry, you could do your research as well, but again, you get an additional advantage because you understand the business aspect of research. I was working as a master student with um, a colleague, Yannick Debing, and he created this uh, Aligos in 2018. He reached out to me and he said, yo, uh, there's a job here, would you mind uh, taking a look at it? So I joined um, Aligos Therapeutics. I'm still working with them now. And we design uh, targeted therapies against liver diseases in general. I've been here for nine years now, getting to 10. Well, I'm not proud of my Dutch. Everyone understands English, they speak English. I don't feel, um, nobody even attempts to, to speak it because <laughs> we are all, it, it's a multinational company. If you want to go to a, a company, make the right connections, reach out to people, reach out to friends, you know, or even reach out to the companies themselves, apply for those jobs. You get rejected. I got rejected so many times, but I insisted because that's what I wanted. In company, there are lots of job offers. Once you get in, which at times is difficult at first to get in, but once you're there, you can build your way up. In academia, it's never a guarantee. You could be great, but if there are no tenure positions, you would remain as a postdoc for a very long time. Now, you should, you should know if this is something you also really want to do. I, I've, I've seen people who left academia and realized, oh, this is not what I wanted to do. This is my philosophy. I've argued with PhD students who were doing PhD and they did not know what they want to do. And they were like, you know what? I just want to have this PhD and I will decide after what I want to be. It is fine. I don't object to that. But me, as far as I'm concerned, I like to have a plan. I like to have a three-year plan, a five-year plan. Where will I be three years from now? Where will I be five years from now? And that gives me the opportunity to find out what I need to be where I want to be. So the dream is to one day, I'm talking about, I'm thinking about retirement when I'm in my 50s, 60s, uh, go back home. You know, when I say home, I mean Cameroon or an Africa model and, and reinvest, reinvest my knowledge, my expertise and share with young scientists, try to inspire them, to create something for them they could look up to. The distance from now to the future is your imagination and it's up to you to bridge that gap.